After spending the last couple of days in the Becker cellar, it was time to head back to the vineyard, this time to find out about an incurable fungal vine disease called Esca. Esca is increasingly infecting vineyards across Europe and California. Some fear that Esca could prove to be as devastating as the phylloxera louse in the late 19th and early 20th century, when it nearly destroyed the wine industry in Europe until the technique of grafting vines onto American rootstocks was developed. Today I'm meeting with wine grower Tony Moran to find out more about Esca and maybe a possible cure. My name is Tony Moran and I'm far farming this small plot of uh, old Riesling vines. The site is about uh, 0 0.2 hectares consisting of um, about 500 vines. We have a uh, little bit of uh, Esca problem on this vineyard which is quite common in the older vineyards. Uh, a wine trunk disease that eventually will, uh, in normal circumstances, kill the plant. This is effectively what the disease does, so it completely rots the trunk from the inside and it becomes... I mean, this was still alive in the spring, as you can see. It's still fresh, but totally soft. It's not able to carry water anymore. Uh, the plot has been uh, conventionally managed for approximately 35 years of its existence and uh, in 2012 we started an organic conversion so from uh, January 2012 onwards we have not sprayed any uh, synthetic, synthetical chemicals uh, on this side but farmed it in uh, organic principles. The rate of uh, ESCA infection we have here is approximately 15 to 20 vines per year uh, which accounts to about 4% annually and uh, this is something we have to write off, we lose the vines. Um, this spring uh, we had the opportunity to meet a uh, professor of uh, viticulture in Alsace uh, who in informed he's been successful in combating the disease with aerating the vine. Uh, Esca as a disease cannot survive in aerobic conditions so the principle is quite simple and mechanical. We aerate the wine, uh, wine by drilling small holes, or alternatively you can use a small thin saw blade to cut through the vine. So I'm just here trying to identify a little bit of the soft spots within the trunk, uh, which suffer from the rot and drill holes through the trunk and uh, let the wine get some air into it. Uh, there is very little documented evidence that this works, uh, very much an experimental treatment. But in the end, when we're combating ESCA, we have really nothing to lose. Uh, eventually, the vines will die. Here, as we can see, we have a clear ESCA discoloration of the leaves. Uh, shriveled grapes that were not harvested. We're just left on the vine because these are unusable, very bitter in taste and uh, easy to identify which vines suffer from the disease. You can really see where it's healthy. Like if I drill from here, you can see that it's really fresh. That looks normal. But then this, dark brown so basically means it's wet we would need to get that out so it's rotten I think I got pretty much all the wet stuff out aerating the vine seems an interesting plan of attack against Esca but how will we know if this treatment is effective we'll know in the spring if it starts to grow leaves and uh, if it'll flower